Hello, my name is Karen Larson, and there are broken places in my life, in my experience, and in my prayers. Saturday, the 2nd of October, 2021, we opened the door of our apartment to find a notice of rent increase on the other side. And that in and of itself was not surprising because we had had many friends getting rent increases anywhere from $300 to $700. So that in and of itself wasn't the surprise. The 38% increase was the surprise. I have GAD, which is general anxiety disorder. And I also have a panic disorder. And one of my major triggers is the prospect or appearance of scarcity. And so, when I am faced with the situation where all of a sudden it looks like we may not have enough, at least not in the way we have had enough in the past, that shot of adrenaline goes across your chest just like whoo, whoo, and your insides start coiling up and your intestines start gurgling. And for me, I know one of the ways that I can deal with that before it draws into like full blown panic is to move. So I get on the phone and I pace the hallway or I get outside and I walk and I walk and I walk. 2nd of October, it's a Saturday. I cannot walk because we're going to Keyport. And so we get in the car and we drive down to Edmonds and we sit still and we get on the ferry and we go across to Kingston and we sit still and then we go from Kingston through Silverdale up to Keyport because we're going to pick apples. But that entire time, I am forced to sit still 38% rent increase. Where is that coming from? We've been invited to Keyport by one of my good friends. I haven't seen her in two years. It's a pandemic. And we get into Keyport and we pull into her house, her childhood home, and there's that beautiful apple tree right out front. And we get out and she gives me a big hug and we start talking. She's living at her childhood home. So is her sister. So is her brother-in-law and her nephew. They're living in her childhood home because it's a pandemic and unemployment is high. 38% rent increase, three unemployed adults and a 10-year-old. And we go out to pick apples and I tell her what is happening and I tell her how I'm feeling and she listens and she talks about leaving her job and her sister leaving her job and her brother-in-law being unemployed and how hard it is. And then she says, my nephew can't have a lot of like refined carbohydrates in his diet right now because we find it affects his behavior. He's got some special needs. Can you use some rice? And I said, I like pantry staples. Yeah, we can use some rice. So she takes me downstairs to the pantry downstairs, 12 pounds of rice. And we put it into a bag and she says, how about pasta? And so more pasta and, oh, how about last year's preserves? So I have apple butter and plum chutney and all these wonderful things. I've got two full bags of groceries and two gallons of apples and we go back upstairs and I discover that her brother-in-law has been chatting to my spouse and he has pulled aside Keith and said, can you use some pasta? And so by the end of it, we have five full grocery bags and two gallons of apples. And I turn to Kimmy and I say, three unemployed adults and a 10 year old, how? How? 38% rent increase, three unemployed adults and a 10 year old. How? And she says, my brother-in-law, how he is uh, doing something for the household right now is he's going to the food bank every week. And they're giving him things that we can't use because my nephew can't eat it, but we have to accept it. So now their abundance becomes our burden, becomes your provision. Karen. We're not going to let you go hungry. 
And the Holy Spirit reaches through my very good friend and says, your community will fill in the broken places. If you let them know what you need, they will come in and be my grace for you. The 9th of November, we win a bid on a townhouse. The 11th of December, we get the keys. And that's not to say that I don't still have those triggers. That's not to say that the adrenaline doesn't still across my chest and I don't still get all roily and need to walk and walk and walk. That's not to say that doesn't happen. But the Holy Spirit covers those broken places and fills in the gap and says, your community will not let you go hungry if you let them know what you need. If you let me know what you need, Karin, I will not let you go hungry. My name is Karin Larson. There are broken places in my life, my experiences, and my prayers. And the Holy Spirit and grace fills all of it. May it continue to be so. Amen. <laughs>